Hi, my name is Fabiana and welcome to White Data Fabric. Today we have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create an API for White Data Synthetic Data Generation. First, we need to check our data catalog. I need a data set to have my synthesizer trained. So that's exactly what I'm going to check. Um, everything is fine. So all the variables and the data quality is good. Um, and based on this, of course, I was able to generate also through Ydata UI a synthesizer. Now that we are inside the synthesizer um, and everything is fine, the synthetic data is, uh, is ready to be generated through API docs. And as you can see, we have no uh, sample generated. For the API details, I just need to enter the API docs. And here I have all the step-by-step -step that I need in order to create my API from my train synthesizer. I just need to follow the steps and the instructions. Um, the type of authentication that we need use is the bearer token. Uh, and in order to authenticate or have my API to have access to the project and to the cluster or white data fabric cluster, I need to copy the details from my SDK token. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I just need to click, click into SDK token, copy the details and have them pasted into Postman. I could use code, but in this case, I have decided to use Postman. So I I'm going just to enter the auth or the authentication of my API and add um, to the token detail, select the type of authentication as parent token and add the token detail and save. That will allow me to have the authentication completed for all the requests that I need to do for this project. Now I just need to create a request. So uh, given Ydata APIs, I can create several type of requests from get the list of synthesizers, I have a synthesizer deleted, uh, have uh, or retrain synthetic data generation, uh, create several samples for a specific synthesizer and define the number of variables or rows that I want to generate, as well as get the list of samples uh, per synthesizer or request a comparison report. To start with, uh, we can just start by uh, getting the list of synthetic data generation methods. And for that, I just need to copy this URL. So I'll create just a request specific to list the synthetic data generation, paste the URL and create the request. This will now provide me a list of all the synthesizers that I have already trained for this project, as we can see. But of course, I'm in a context of this specific synthesizer and I want to generate a synthetic sample from it. And that's for that, I just need to copy this new URL that is specific for the generation of samples. Create a new request that I have, I have one post already created. Paste the URL. Confirm if everything is fine, of course, and add the body parameters. So uh, in this case, I'm going just to add um, the format body parameters. I have to add both the number of records as well uh, as the an integer detailing how many rows that I want to generate. Save and I need to send the request. Now I have my synthetic sample being prepared. And if I enter into the detail of the generation, I can see that I have my sample uh, being generated as expected. And of course, for each and every sample generated, we also want to consume them through API. That's exactly what we are going to do. For that, we just need to copy uh, our get sample URL and paste it similarly as we have done in the previous steps. So just create a new request, paste the URL, request the sample, and we will get uh, in the answer a link um, that we can access in order to get the data. 
copy that link to our browser and here it is the data that we have just generated. I hope you have enjoyed and stay tuned for the next videos.